Today we're going to start talking about metal tooling using visual texture. Metal tooling is a type of low relief sculpture in which tools are used to create a design on metal. This is a centuries old practice and it can be found in artworks including armor plates from ancient Greece, King Tut's mask, and Mexican tin art designs. We're going to start talking about textures. Visual textures are implied textures you can see. However, tactile textures can be touched to understand how they feel, like bumpy, fuzzy, and smooth. In this lesson, you are going to create a metal tooling design using five unique visual textures. You're going to arrange your elements in either a static or a dynamic composition, and as a result, your design will have movement or not. You've been looking at some different textures from everyday life. I want you to sketch them out on your practice paper, at least five, and decide if you want a dynamic or a static composition. A static composition reminds me of stamps in a stamp book. They're all sitting next to one another in an orderly fashion, and my eyes have to hop from one to the next. In contrast, a dynamic composition would be if I threw all those stamps up in the air and snapped a picture of them simultaneously. My eye continually moves from one element to the next without repetitive shapes blocking the flow. Now a little test. I want you to tell me if this is static or dynamic composition. It's static. Is this abstract piece dynamic or static? It is dynamic. What about this orderly piece? Is this static or dynamic? It's definitely static. What about this musical abstract painting? Dynamic. Neither compositional style is better than the other, just different. I want you to reflect on what you're trying to communicate, then pick a style that best matches the selection of textures you've chosen, either static or dynamic. So what you're going to do now is sketch five or six textures on a six inch square sketch paper in either a static or dynamic composition.